Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honor to the apostles, elders, the great millstone. Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, this is Ratazai with another video. And I just wanted to get into a quick um a topic on chastisement, okay? Because when you come into this truth, you know, and you pick up the plow and put your put forth your hand to this work of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, you know, it's imperative or it's important to go through the chast to go through the chastising process. All right. Which, you know, brothers who've already, you know, the more advanced intermediate brothers that have been around for a number of years, you know, this is common knowledge. But also for the um younger brothers as well who are coming into into the faith, you know, you're gonna be chastised, man. But it's only to our benefit as opposed to to our um uh, you know, as opposed to our destruction, you know, to be chastised really is to be built up, you know, just like your biological father would, you know, put you through certain uh, 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 obstacles, so to speak, or he would put you in a situation where you have to, you know, suffer to a degree, you know, what the heavenly father, you know, he, he does the same thing on a, on a, on a higher level, man. All right. So I just want to get into this, um, Definition from the online entomology dictionary. It says chastise. It says to inflict pain upon, to punish, and recall to duty, to punish for the purpose of correcting or reclaiming. You see, yeah, the Most High is punishing us one for one because we went we went off. Okay, you can read plenty of scriptures on that. All right, the nation of Israel as a whole went off. All right. And we sinned against the most high. So we're being punished and being chastised in that regard. But it's also to what? It's also to correct us, man. You know, to correct us and make us upright in the eyes of the Lord. All right. It says, um, we read on, it says to warn, advise, instruct. All right. Which we, we have men set up on the planet earth, beginning with our apostles and elders who've been set up. To instruct, to instruct us and warn us according to the scriptures, man. All right. Um. Now I want to get to this one point when you when you go down towards the middle. It says to set or keep right to reprove, chasten, to punish, literally, to make pure. You see, I'm gonna try to highlight it. <laughs> you see, it says to make pure, man. So when you're going through the chastising process, all right, we're being made pure in the eyes of the Lord, man. The Lord has to purify us because Babylon, you know, when we was in the world, our, our minds were polluted, our bodies were polluted, you know, our spirits was was filthy and polluted, man. So when we came into this truth, you know, the Lord has to put us through that ch that chastisement process to purify us, man, you know. That's that's why the scriptures speak about um matter of fact let me uh let me get that uh I think that's Isaiah four I'm sorry that's Isaiah thirteen when you go to verse um yeah verse twelve this is um Isaiah 13 and 12 it says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the uh, golden wedge of Ophir. You know, what man is this referring to? It's referring to a man of that's of the election, that's of the elect of the nation of Israel amongst you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Now, how's the Lord going to make that individual into fine gold? It's by first taking them through the um, chastisement process. All right? You have to be tried and proven all right tried and refined <laughs> as they say man you know and we're going through that process now that's why it's 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 necessary man you know at times you know it, you know your, your flesh will kick in and you know you might get down or whatever but understand that this is all for a purpose man all right you want to be uh refined gold in that time man 
in a time of trouble. It says, therefore, I will shake the heavens, 13, and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts and in the day of his fierce anger. Yeah, so the Most High is going to bring down judgment and destroy America. And you want to be found as gold in that day, man. You know, not stubble, not hay, not tin, brass, you know, all of these lower uh, 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 metals, you know, or uh, resources that could be easily burned. You want to you wanna stand as fine gold in that day, man. And it starts by being made pure now through the chastisement of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. So let me go to um, Hebrews 12. In verse, beginning at verse 5, all right, and brothers, we all know this scripture. It says, Hebrews 12 and 5, and ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him, you know? Yeah, so don't, don't faint, you know, don't, don't get butt hurt when you get chastised or you get rebuked. All right, why? Because it's all for our benefit. Verse 6, for whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. So you should take that as a as a uh, as a as a as a as a beautiful thing, man. Because if you're not going through adversity, if you're not being tested, if you're not being made to be uncomfortable, then that's a that's a problem, man. But the Lord He chastened you because why? He He loves you. He wants you to be as that fine gold, as we read in, in Isaiah 13. Verse 7, if ye endure chastening, which the word endure goes into being to be um to be made hard, all right, it says the most high dealeth with you as with sons. Yeah, because if you got you got a son, you know, you automatically, you know, you want your son to be tough. You, you know, you know, a man, real man don't want his son to be no no little punk, man. You know, you're like, yo, yo, like, yo, <laughs> what's up with this guy, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, you want your son to be tough. You want your son to be able to endure things, you know? And the Heavenly Father looks at looks at us the same way. It says, the Most High dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? You see that? Yeah, so the Most High is our, is our Heavenly Father. All right? And if we're his sons, best believe we're going to go through this process. Verse 8, but if ye be without chastisement, wherefore all are partakers, then are ye uh, bastards and not sons, you see? And everybody doesn't go through that ch the chastisement process because the Most High is not dealing with everybody. He's only dealing with his elect. It says, furthermore, verse 9, furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, all right, which is our biological fathers. Okay, it says, and we gave them reverence. The word reverence means respect or fear. Okay, it says, shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the father of spirits and live? You see that? Yeah, so the same way how our, our, our earthly fathers chastised us, we, we gave them reverence. You know, we gave them that respect and whatnot. Hey, how much more? As it says, the father of spirits, man. You know? The Most High, Yahweh. You know he's he's worthy to be praised and he's worthy worthy to be feared, man. As it says in um Sirach, the first chapter, verse ten it says, "For they verily for a few days chastened us after their own pleasure, but He for our profit that we might be partakers of His holiness." You see that, and that's the point, man. All right, the Most High is chastening us for our uh, for our profit, our gain. You know, and what are we going to gain ultimately? Salvation, spiritual power, rulership of the earth, power, all right, wealth beyond imagination. This is for our profit, man. Verse 11, now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. You see, yeah, so you go through things, you know, you're going to be like, God damn, man. You know, but check this out. Nevertheless, afterward, it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. You see, so yeah, even though it, it, it you know, it, it, could, it could piss you off at the time. Like, yo, like, you know, like, damn, man. You know, because we in the flesh. But at the same time, 
<laughs> hey man, take it cheerfully because why? You know that the um the end game, you're gonna what? You're gonna yield the peaceable fruits of righteousness. Like an old saying in the world, no pain, no gain. You know, that's an old saying. It's funny that the word exercise is contained in this verse. Because that's what you compare it to, you know. For you to able to be strong and have a, a, a certain amount of muscle mass, hey, 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 you gotta you gotta suffer in the gym. You know, you watch those different um um uh videos about bodybuilders and things. Hey, you got to go through vigorous workouts to obtain that level of muscularity, you know? So the same thing in this truth. You got to endure, a, a, you know, a certain levels of sufferings and chastisement to come out as, as fine gold when it's all said and done, man. All right? So I'm, I'm going to get I'm gonna get one more scripture. Cause this is a real short lesson. Um, Job 5. In the 15th verse, slack you. Verse, uh, verse 17, Job 5 and 17. Behold, happy is the man whom the most high corrective. Why? Now, why would a man be uh, be happy? Because we just read why. <laughs> you understand at the end of that, uh, uh, um, at, of that correction or that chastisement, you're going to what? Yield the peaceable fruits of righteousness. It says, therefore, despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty, for he for he maketh sore and bindeth up. He woundeth and his hands make whole. You see that? Yeah, so the Lord, the Lord will break you down only to build you up. You see that? <laughs> the Lord, the Lord will bring you down and, and raise you back up. And, and just to make that comparison again with um with exercising and fitness, that's how you build muscle. You know, they say you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta tear down the muscle fibers in the gym, and then when you rest, that's when your muscles actually grow. So it's the same thing. The Lord will tear you down, and when when he uh, uh when he bonds you up, that's that's when you actually grow. You see, so it all makes it all it all comes together, man. You know, but um, I'm a, I'm gonna leave it off there. All right, this is a short, quick lesson on chastisement. You know, um, Lord willing, you was edified, giving on praise, son, and glory to you. How about Shimmy? I was shy. Bahashim Rakhakwadash, Lord willing to the next video. Shalom.